Hello everyone and welcome to Depanir Nocturne, which I have never played before, but I saw footage of it and it looked pretty cute. So we're going to play it. It's not entirely in French. I think it is based on French Quebec, which I have no experience with. Don't even know if the same French is spoken there as it is in, like, say, France. And even if it was my French, is not really up to standard. So let's see if we can figure out this game. We're just going to start playing. And hopefully we're going to have a good time. So far, we have reached a place we can see. We cannot go back. When I move my camera, it swings, so that's exciting. There's some strange graffiti on the wall. Some cool posters. This is basically just going to be a game of me looking at walls, because that's pretty much the sole reason why I purchased this video game. <laughs> just to like explore a bit, look at the eyes, look at these, so forth. Someone waving, damper. So far the controls are movement. I have not found any other controls yet, but perhaps we will. I'm pretty sure this means go, but for now, maybe we cannot go there. There's a little shop over there. It has the name of the game, so that might be of interest at some point. But first, before we go there, these are some neat little like pylon type things, so that's always good. Don't dig, don't trip and enter the abyss. Yeah, I guess, okay. We're just going to go to the shop. Perhaps here we will find more than a stolen bike. Hmm. Mm. Bonsoir. Good evening. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come over here where I can see you. We'll get to that. There's some laundry papers. Some languages. It's all sp spoken in lines as well. That happens. One of these things, that's always fun. Cough. Ooh, a hand. I don't think I can interact. Oh, perhaps I can. I can somewhat interact with it, but not entirely. We're going to figure out this puzzle. And the puzzle is, again, I'm just going to play with everything in this in this whole place. Apparently it's not a very long game, but I know how I play games, so this should take about four to six hours. Alright, neat. Found a coin. It's broken is what that probably means, judging from the crying face. Hmm. You know what, maybe we should at least try and talk to... Oh, wait, oh. Wow, immediate judgment on my ability to hold a cap. Hello. Welcome. I have a feeling you're looking for something specific. Since you braved that downpour to come here, I sure did notice it was raining. I mean, I guess it is. Yeah. My partner's been working a lot of late nights. I want to surprise her with something when she gets home. I guess that's a different... Clickety-click means me. Means the other person. We'll do around here, and yours was the only place I could find that was still open. Now, how sweet. I'll ignore you how you just implied for only visiting my fine establishment out of desperation. Oh yeah, didn't mean to be rude. Your place really does look nice. Heh, <laughs> no problem. I was only teasing. Anyway, I got baking soda, paper towels, crackers. There's pretty much everything you need when you think about it. But I also have some unusual things on my shelves that might make good gifts. Go ahead and browse. Just bring over anything you're curious about and I'll tell you about it. With that road work outside, nobody's coming by anyway. I'm not exactly busy. I have found this small coffee cap thing. How much is it? Uh, what am I looking for? That's a very good question. Not sure what you're looking for. I'm sure if you keep poking around, you'll find it. I just have a feeling. Anything else? Tell me about yourself. I run this dipanier. What else do you want to know? What's your name? My name's Eugenie? Eugenie? Happy to meet you, sure. What's your story? I was born and raised here. My parents used to run this shop and I helped them out until I moved out on my own. I studied the mystic art but could never hack the career out of divination. 
People have turned their backs on that stuff. Tell me about it. Then times got lean, so I worked as a furnace for years. The oven bosses are always hiring us salamanders because we're immune to the fires. <laughs> the heat might not bother me, but I much prefer to be somewhere cool and damp, so I came home. Plus, my parents retired, and I figured it was my time, my turn to try the shopkeeping business. What about this shop? Is it the shopkeeping business? It's a family business. My parents used to run this place when we lived upstairs. Now it's just me. I try to keep it in good shape. There's a lot of good memories here. It was a bit different when they ran it. I'm kind of trying to make it my own thing. Fair enough. I wish to buy this cap, but I can't seem to find a way to buy it from you. Do you have a washroom? The washroom's for employees only. It's about time I'm gonna get a job here, because I want to go to the bathroom. What is this? Help yourself to those tarts. They're getting still, and I haven't had anyone buy in hours. Mmm. Give me tarts. Give. Oh, accidentally dropped a cap. You are hungry. A yo <laughs> Hey, I got an achievement for that. Look at that. Can I get my cap back? I kind of dropped it in an awkward place. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, that's gone forever. I hope that's not going to be a problem. That almost sounded like this thing became louder when I clicked on that thing, but that was probably wrong. Oh. We got choices. We can do no music. That's exciting. <laughs> Let's lower that a little bit. <laughs> Let's just have a be relaxing. Yeah, alright. That seems mystical enough for my taste. Can I go? I need a key. That's probably the washroom, isn't it? That's okay. Oh, the coffee's complimentary. Help yourself. I hope you've got any more of them cool lids. Alright, I do actually. <laughs> I can't get another one. Alright, sweet. Get a cup. Pour it in there. Float it above the cup. The cup. Boop, boop. Put on a lid. Look at that. I did it. I can make it. Can I? I wanted to drink it, please. Oh, big sip. Uh, yeah. Just real, really sipping this. Just knock that over. All right, we're done with that one. Because we're clean. What is this? Another coin. That's nice. Can I buy this poster? A commemorative poster from the 1997 Dream Pavilion. I've heard you had to really be there to get it. Fair enough. Savory choo-hoos. Have it hot. You can tell ice French is impeccable. That's hopefully okay, though. Kitty! It's a real one. It looks at me. I got an achievement for betting it. Well, I've already beaten this game, I'd say. Hang on. Just gonna... Really... Okay, we're done. Well, okay. We're done here. Let's see what else. We got a cool building lamp. That makes her a pretty good gift. How do you feel about building lamp? Do you have any opinions about this? Do you like this lamp? This caddy's not... Caddy? This kitty's not bothered by my shenanigans, and I accept that. Please try to keep my goods on the shelves, but I want to pick them up and look. How much for this cool lamp? I'll get to that statue in a second. An inspection lamp. A standard issue lantern for metro inspectors. I found this one in the sub-basement when we had some of the old pipes repaired. It's constantly flickering and I can't figure out how to turn it off. But I've had it for ages. So I guess the battery lights are all good. You want to buy it? No. I wish to steal it. After rummaging. But first... Uh, let's put that over there. On the shelf. Look, it's on the- it's perfect. It's on the shelf right there. Don't worry about it. What is this, though? A cool statue. This is a bust of Yandrew Quain. He was a notorious urban planner. He's either a hero or a villain, depending on which side of the downtown you live in. I keep seeing these in people's windowsills, but I think they're putting them there ironically. You wanna buy it? No. I wonder if I even have a way to pay for any of this stuff. Let me just put that back down there. Yeah, perfect. How about this cool shirt? Not, not any of these, though. Just this one. I'm gonna try and buy something. A salamander coat. A very fine jacket. It's woven from salamander hair, so it's totally fireproof. When I was a student, I cut my hair short every summer. 
I sold it to weavers in the fashion district to make garments like this. It was an easy way for a poor salamander to earn some pocket money. Do you want to buy it? Yeah. I'll just bag this for you and keep looking around. Just let me know when you finish. I have purchased 21. I don't know how much money I have. But that's probably fine. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, just open through me. That's fine. What? Alright, no worries. I thought I was almost trapped there, but we fine. We good. So we got an air conditioning. We found many coins so far. A cool turnip. Should I just buy everything? I feel like I do actually require everything in my possession, but let's see what's over here. Another locked door. Truly, this place holds many secrets. And a leak. Looks like the leak is under control. Not when I'm done with it. I'm gonna make a big mess. Uh, can I step on this somehow? Huh, look at that. I feel like I'm gonna get myself stuck if I try to go over there. But at least I can use this to like get on top of stuff and really touch that leak. Take a sip of the wawa. And we're good to go. Although I guess I can actually walk pretty good in here. I can pretty much just step on anything. That's nice. Can I get on top of this thing? If I really wanted to, I feel like I could. But let's see how much this turnip is. Because I think this is definitely going to help me in my day-to-day -day life. Hello there. That's a turnip. I start your tuber. I picked this one myself. I find them sometimes when I tidy the family plot up in the mountain cemetery. They go wild there. They're actually sort of invasive. I got that one three years ago. As an age of day, think it must be haunted. But it would make a great soup. Do you want to buy it? Yeah. I'll bag it and add it to your tote. Alright, what else we got? Can I buy this cough? That's my tea. I'll drink it soon, but it's still cooling down. Alright, I won't buy that though. That's fair. Can I buy your cash register? That's the perfect ploy. If I buy their cash register, then that way, they won't be able to charge me for my goods and services. Uh, that's milk. I can't pick up milk. That would be insane. As you can see, that poor Gwichit has a fever. Technology always seems to do strange things around me. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna fix it. Oh! Alright, we're fixing it. I'm pretty sure. It's going big. Oh, we had a maze. Real quick, let's see if we can get the maze back, because that's probably the screen. I can do anything with this screen. Oh, there we go. That's the screen you want for your money machine. Some eyes. This. Many faces. That one has the most happy faces, so that's probably the best screen. Okay. Alright, maybe this thing just... Oh. Hmm. I mean... It's not any more broken than it was so that's good it's doing different things now like there's different images on the screen sometimes i think look we're gonna get through this i figure if i break it enough times it's gonna open the secret door it's not gonna open the secret door you know what i need this i wish to purchase this lamp last call okay an inspection lantern. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, no thanks. Do you want to buy it? Yeah. Bag it and add it to your total. Also need this. It's very important that I have this in my possession. Uh, you tell you about it? No thanks. Do you want to buy it? Yeah. Sure. I'll bag it and add it to your total. Can I buy any of these other shirts? I can move all of them. Or, well, some of them. Apparently it ended there. <laughs> But the, I guess the salamander one was pretty distinct compared to all the other ones, which pale in comparison. Let us see. There was another thing here, right? There was a there was a bottle. Uh, not that one. This one. I wish to purchase everything you've ever owned in your shop, please. Thank you. A bottle of mushroom milk. I love this stuff. I drink it straight, but I admit it's an acquired taste. It's earthy, like the smell of fresh rain. I put it in my coffee. It seems like you're struggling to find the perfect gift. Only, I know that you brought me the most unusual objects from my shows. Well, I have an idea. I can help you out. I practice a particular kind of divination based on objects. 
I think even inanimate things have a destiny, somewhere they're supposed to end up. I try to shepherd these objects into their intended owners. That's not what it said. I don't get much opportunity to practice these days, but maybe with my talents I could help you find you what you're looking for. Are you interested? Yes. All right. I have a room in the back with some of the stranger objects I've collected. Meet me there and I can help you. The door is in the back of the fridge. It's through there. Come around and I'll unlock it. As for that, do you want to buy it? Yes. Sure, I'll bag it and add it to your time. Sweet. Give me all that. Oh, you're done? Ready to pay up? No, absolutely not. I want to go to the room in the back of the fridge because that's where you meet your customers. Because that's where I... That means beer, I think. That's where I would meet my customers. In the back of the fridge. After you go through the filing area. There's got to be a coin here. I can feel it. There's cameras. You can see the whole shop from here and somewhere else. <laughs> Wait, what is it somewhere else? Is it that one? Oh, I guess it would be, huh? That makes sense. I figured it out. This is a vintage data protection charm. I wonder if it still works. I'm going to say maybe. And I'm moving on. I'm tired of this place. Oh, it smells like mushrooms. It must be. You get it. What's all this? Bunch of snapshots. Previous visitors, maybe? They all look like ghosts? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh! Ah, you've arrived. Very mysterious. Welcome to my collection. Look at these unusual objects. We got skull with thing. Cool painting. This is Thedeul, the goddess of music, drugs, and celebration. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of everything, and I'm very sorry. That's Bib. God is a luck, poverty, and random fortune. That's my kind of god. That's Vala, the goddess of discipline, courage, and daring. That's a cool sword. That's a cool cup. That's an egg. I was going to say egg, but it's actually more of a cool-looking globe type thing. Neat. Bonus. The goddess of interiors, time, and the cosmos. That's Argara Moga, the goddess of romance, family, and generosity. And that's Louster, the goddess of loot, influence, and good deals. Yeah. Oh, what else is this? That's Grandad from my father's side, in front of the family's homestead in the old country. That's cute. That's my parents. They can just before I was born, I think. Aren't they adorable? Yes. That's my grandma, from my mother's side. She was the last real witch in the family. You're a real witch, I believe in you. You learned a lot from her. Who this? That's me and my little sister. She's an artist. She lives out in the orchard, orchard, orchards now, so I don't see her as much as I like. I was gonna say orchards. That's probably not a real word. You can probably guess who that is. I was such a little dork. Ooh, ooh. That's my grandpa on my mom's side and his dance team. They look fab. Big love. All right. Show me that cool looking thing, cause that's cool. I want that. Do you mind if I weave while we're here? It helps me concentrate. I know we're not supposed to mess with the loose geometry. You're not a cop, are you? No. Because this is too dope. Keep up weaving. If I could do that, that's... It, it would definitely irritate people around me because I would not stop. It would just keep going. Welcome. So here's what I'm thinking. All of these objects are adrift in the world. They're looking for their owner. I can tell them... Tell that one of them is meant for your partner. Bring me anything from this collection and I can tell you about it. But you have to be the one to make the decision about whether it's the right one for your partner. Sword. Yeah, that's a bully knife. A classic one. Neighborhood toughs, toughs use it to strut around with these tucked in their sashes. It's just for show and the blade is dulled. The important part is to look at the hilt. Some old timers still carry them around. These days they go for the fancy ones with the blades made out of quartz or ceramic. Hmm. I don't want a bully. I want... Let me put this back carefully. Oh, that actually went pretty carefully. Look at that. I'm pretty... I'm getting good at this. The jewel chalice. This was originally meant for a honey pouring ritual. It's fully blessed and warded. It's a nice solid cup. I made root beer floats in it. I mean, that's pretty solid. Oh. Those are precious, please try not to drop. Oh, there's actually a different icon for where you place it rather than just 
fling it, but you know, I do love me some flinging. Ah, the skull of Yearn. We don't really know who she was, only that she left very specific instructions that her bones should end up somewhere cool. If you think you know a good place for this, I'm willing to entrust you with it. I mean, this is almost certainly going to be the one. Carefully place. But there is ball, and I do love me some ball. The habitat orb. There's a little worm in there, peacefully dreaming. It's very rejuvenating to hear, to be near a creature that's so comfortable. The ball is a closed system with its own atmosphere. The worm has such a slow metabolism that it will sleep in there for years. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. That's, that's actually kind of tempting. Look at that worm. That's nice. I'm stepping on it by accident now, but... When the game allows me to make such big leaps upstairs, then I'm, I'm gonna go up. That's cute. That's cool. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that one's pretty cute too, though. A votive animal figure. It depicts a benevolent four-legged mammal bearing a gift of fish. When good luck comes your way, you're meant to throw a figure like this into the bog. It's a thank you gift for the wild spirits. I mean, that one's more a for me thing. But I'd, it's still pretty cool. What about egg? The precious big egg. It's a beautiful egg from an unknown mother. Maybe a cockatrice? The seal prevents it from hatching indefinitely. But if you choose to remove that seal and incubate it, you could find out what's waiting to hatch. Of course, you have to feel confident that you could take good care of whatever's in there. Well, now that you're familiar with everything in the collection, if you could choose one thing from here to take home with you, what would it be? Let the object speak to you. Place. I mean, this one's... I would get this. Because this is adorable. But then this one's pretty cute, too. And it's just, like, sitting there in this little water bowl. But then there's the skull. And that one looks pretty neat. It's got, like, a little chip in it. And it has to end up somewhere cool. And I'm not very cool. This is a good cup. This is a bully blade. I'm going for tiny boy. Because it's my day. Mm. A votive animal figure. I think there's something there. Should I tell you about it again? Or is this your gift? This is my gift. This is what you want? I want you to be certain. Yes. Mm. All right. I believe you. It's done. This is yours now. You've made an interesting choice. Votive animals like this re re represent thankfulness, an acceptance of fate, and giving back proportional to what one has. Maybe you'd like to express gratitude to your partner, or maybe you've had some stroke of good fortune to be thankful for? That's just my interpretation, though. I'm really happy I've been able to practice my craft on you. There's just one more thing we have to do. Hold on a moment. I like to keep a record of the people I've helped. Ready for your portrait? Smile. I hope you're all smiling. A successful expedition. Back to the apartment. I think she'll like this. Look at her. Hello, my bichette. Welcome back, creature. Long night, home. I actually got home before you did for once. Oh, what's this? You brought me something? You got me a turnip? That's nice. We can make a soup out of it. Looks pretty huge, actually. Oh, some mushroom milk. I haven't had that in ages. I think it's really tasty, though. Who's this guy? <laughs> Looks like some kind of a fish. It'll look great in my porcelain head collection. Wow, nice looking lantern there. We could go exploring with this. You really got a bunch, huh? <laughs> a very fine coat. It's really soft. That'll help me keep... <clears throat> That'll keep me warm this winter, huh? Amazing. You went all out. And something else? Ooh, something special. A little dog. And he's bringing me a fish. You did well with this one. Where on earth did you find something like this? Anyway, thank you so much. But you know, you really didn't need to get me anything. I'm just happy to see you. Oh. That's cute. That's cute. I got my tea in the end. Turnip. Milk, dog, with fish, lamb, soup, statue of official. What else could you possibly desire? Look at that. Just like that, we did it. And I guess that's the end. Here's some credits. Well, I had a good time. And I hope y'all had too. It was pretty cute. And I'm happy about it. So I hope you had a good day. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.